Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And of course they are. Of course they are. Amazon is looking at doing a live action Voltron reboot. Right, because they haven't ruined anything else. Yeah, right. They haven't. They haven't. Uh, they haven't ruined anything else. Amazon is is great with every property they finger. So they're gonna finger Voltron. Mm -hmm. We're gonna talk about this because yeah, maybe they'll maybe they'll make the shippers mad because uh, you know Amazon is also rebooting Shira. Yeah, and the shippers are mad about that. But let's be honest here. They're they're gonna probably do more of the same. Probably. It's probably going to be worse than the DreamWorks I, version of Voltron. That's where my money is lying. Yeah, so let's talk about this. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Guys, over 264,000 subs. Yay! Thank you Thank so you. much for the support. We do talk about the animation industry. Uh, we talk about the 1980s. We are very salty about a lot of 1980s properties being bastardized. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know... 10 years ago, I might have gotten excited about a live action Voltron, but uh, not now, not now. And I watched the the redo of Voltron when, you know, when they had like a few years ago and it wasn't that terrible, um, but the shippers were like, the, like everything, the shippers ruined it, the toxic shippers. Yeah, actually I thought the first couple of seasons of, of DreamWorks Voltron was, was pretty good. I watched it all. Yeah, you watched all of it. I checked out about halfway through it, but um, I thought it was pretty decent. I think it was uh, kind of a, an update done right. It doesn't happen very often anymore, but then, yeah, the shippers ruined it. They got a hold of it. Uh, we had, you know, death threats being sent to showrunners and and uh, just all kinds of toxicity. Toxicity. Oh, was that that shipping, that shipping wiki? The shipping wiki, yeah. Okay, Clance. yeah, Clance. Clance. The ship, if you want a good laugh, go to the shipping wiki because some of these ships are just absolutely hilarious. There was ones with Tony Stark ship with Rocket Raccoon and things like that, remember? Iron Rocket or something? I don't remember what it was, you know. That's what they call them. Anyway, <laughs> uh, anyway uh, Amazon is also doing, yeah, live action Shira, which I, I just think it's hilarious because, you know, now you know how it feels to see something you loved get bastardized. Well, it gets me, too. I, I think it's going to be more of the same. I really do. Like, they're, fl they're flipping out about it, but it's probably going to be more of the same with the She-Ra. And I'm, I'm terrified what they're going to do with Voltron um, because uh, Amazon is known for going really, 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 really heavy into the agenda shit. We're seeing it with Lord of the Rings. Oh, yeah. They're just, you said, making up characters whole cloth. Yeah, yeah. There, there was never, like, they're talking about diversity now, and it's like, that's great, but please explain what happened to all the, you know, elves of color people of color that were there in, you know, back in the day that are no longer, you know, in the current movies, what happened to all that? Well, apparently how they're going to distance themselves, I, I've heard. I mean, I don't know for 100% sure because I really haven't been, I have zero interest in Amazon's What, Lord they all left already? No, I, th I think they're like, oh yeah, these aren't really technically Peter, you know, prequels to the Peter Jackson movies are kind of their own thing. You know, they're not technically based on any one particular Tolkien thing. Well, they're not thing. technically based on Tolkien's books either, then. They're technically not. Like these characters, uh, I think this guy with What, Theo they're going to was... use the alternate universe bullshit? Yeah. It's an alternative universe, it's Lord of the Rings. Oh my God, it's the uh, the Hobbit multiverse, yeah. Yeah, I'm like... Anyway. Anyway. So back to the Voltron thing. Back so to Voltron. We're going to look at this article, but what I'm waiting for is now, you know, where they going to have, like, they're going to make Clance canon, or they'll make, you know, uh, Keith and Lance women now. Yeah, well, they did it with Pidge. I, well, Pidge is going to be in a wheelchair. Pidge will be in a wheelchair. I, I'm convinced Pidge is going to be a wheelchair. Um, they're, of course, going to keep the, the heavy character because, you know, they want to make sure that for body positivity, but they'll make it a woman. Honk, yeah, we got to make it. But, but it'll, be, it'll be something else because it'll be a woman. <laughs> It won't be it won't be hunk because we can't have that. So it'll be like you know Helga, Helga, yeah, something like that. But it's going to be a woman. Um, they're all going to be mostly women. Uh, now Voltron is going to be completely black because Black Lives Matter. <laughs> we won't have a blue lion on there because that's you can't. You can't have the blue lion on there. And you know they're just going to go on and find any way because women and lesbians is usually what their diversity is, well, quote unquote. Well, you think they would want the multicolored lions because when all the powers of the rainbow unite. Oh, they'll just probably make it more rainbow colored. You've got the biggest pussy in the universe. <laughs> right. so, All the colors of the rainbow unite. You've got the biggest pussy in the universe. Um, oh, I can't wait to see the prom episode. 
Oh my God, they'll do prom. That's and and the coffee shop episode. The coffee shop. No, that's what they'll do. You know what they'll do? Because I heard years ago they had a treatment of, of uh, for Voltron. The treatment, that's what they're calling yeah, it. Yeah, the treatment. The, the treatment. treatment. Yeah, getting the treatment. Got the treatment. But no, they, they were going to do a Voltron movie uh, like 20 years ago. And I saw a rough draft of the script. And it basically was like our world but in the future and they built Voltron from like a junkyard or something. And so they're going to try Transformers it? Yeah. It was like, wait, what? Well, and they would do that because it's cheaper. It's cheap. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised they do that here because it's cheaper. I, knew, I know they've been trying to do this for like 20 years or so. I knew that. Oh, what they'll do is you won't see actual Voltron until the last episode because they'll, they'll spend all their time in the, the coffee shop mm -hmm. talking about Voltron. Oh, you know what it's going to be? It's going to be like, it's going to be like what we're doing with Avatar. It's a bunch of high school kids, you know, yeah. and all the high school problems. Prom. And prom. And, and, and one of them's in a wheelchair. One of them's in a wheelchair. Yeah, there we go. And most of them are either not not male or they're all not white. Anyway, Amazon circling the drain. Circling live action Voltron movie from Red Notice director. Please flush twice. Flush twice. After fierce bidding war. A fierce bidding war march. <laughs> okay. I think Netflix is out at this point. They can't afford it. Uh, it appears Amazon Prime is in talks to pick up the live action remake of Voltron with the Red Notice director. Uh, according to The Hollywood Reporter... The streaming service intends to make a live action feature. So it's a feature, not a show. Mm -hmm. It's uh, a movie. Yeah, we'll get we'll get Voltron in the last five minutes. Um, well, of course, that would follow the show, wouldn't it? Uh, Thurber created the story and will co-write the script. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Is it go as well as Power Rangers movie did? Oh, my God. Yeah, right. Power Rangers movie. Um, we'll get some Amazon people, or not Amazon, uh, YouTube people on there. Yeah. So, yeah, they said there was a live action Voltron movie starting in the early 2000s. Um, and then there was another one in the mid two thousands and they probably, you know, what probably happens is they get this script and they're like, this is dog shit and, or it's unfilmable. I know this they, sounds like he was a he man that kept having different yeah. versions. They never went to put through the universe is trying to tell you something. Right. Don't do it. Don't yeah. do it. Uh, well, it's like even with transformers, you know, I mean, this is transformers is really what soured me on remakes. Cause at that point we had some pretty decent you know, uh, you know, reboots of shows. We had, you know, 2002 He-Man. We had, you know, 2011 Thundercats. I guess it was a few years later. But we did have some decent updates. And Transformers came out and bastardized the whole thing. And there was a lot of drama around it. And and here we are, how many movies later, and they've, they've gone back to G1 Optimus Prime. Because, yeah, I know. You know they, yeah. That's what the fans wanted. You know, the movies flopped. And it's like, just just... Make a Voltron movie, give it a decent budget, and make it similar to the original show, just not as hokey, and I think you'd be fine. Mm -hmm. But we can't do that. We can't do that. They tried to do an animated feature at one point. It never made it past the development phase. DreamWorks, of course, they did the series. Yeah, but they, should, they weren't letting them do a movie, apparently. Yep. Last month, a package for a live-action Voltron made the waves in Hollywood, inspiring Gosh. a bidding war. So this sounds like a press release from... The agent or something like there was a bidding war. Yeah, Everybody it's wants some Voltron. Articles where they're like trying to you know play it up, you know, and it's like oh Amazon and Warner Brothers, Universal, and others and several other studios that uh, we're not going to name. Yeah, Netflix didn't throw any in because they don't have money. Yeah, that's exact. We did a video on Netflix. Yeah, this is interesting. Netflix did not throw in any bids for the project despite streaming the last interpretation of the franchise with the showrunners behind Avatar and the Last Airbender. That's probably because their money's tied up in other shit shows like their live action version of Avatar and and also the fact that there was so much, you know, toxic bullshit when the shippers didn't get their clants that they probably just like, I'm not even touching that 10-foot pole. Yeah. Um because it's not Netflix is the one the isn't Netflix is the one the Shiva show? Uh no. It's it's, it's Amazon. Amazon. It's yeah, Amazon. it's Amazon. That's what I thought. But the thing is, is that people don't you know realize DreamWorks probably bankrolled I'm not sure well, the specifics, sure. but they bankrolled a lot of it because they're both DreamWorks shows. Now anything DreamWorks is gonna go to Peacock. Right, so, but so, but why didn't they just take it? Why didn't they just make a live action sheer? Why didn't they just go for the, um, you know, Voltron? Because they're not they're they're distancing themselves from it, and Amazon's yep. the one's gonna take it, and they're gonna get the Lord of the Rings treatment. Yeah, they are. They're gonna just make up a bunch of new characters. She was gonna be in a, it's gonna be at a high school, and you know, and there's gonna be there's gonna be another prom episode, but it'll take place in a high school in our world. There was a there was a uh, Ford X gym teacher. Oh my god. <laughs> toxic male gym teacher. Drop and give me 20. <sighs> <laughs> no. 
I like to watch their asses as they go up and down. I had a creepy, Shadow Weaver's the principal, you know. I had a creepy gym teacher. Oh, God. Who house. didn't? Can I, yeah. You know what? I think more, less people, a few people didn't have one. So this guy, he would, well, one, he would watch us take showers and pretend to be reading the newspaper. But he would stand in the, the archway, into the shower area, right? I don't know what the hell they call it, the shower room. And he would stand there like, oh, I'm just reading my newspaper, honestly. I'm not looking at these naked naked boys. And then um, the girls would come over. We'd divide the gym. We had like a divider. Oh, in the gym, not in the locker room. No, no, You're no, You're talking no. about staring at naked the, boys. And he said the yeah. girls would come over. And I'm like, wow. No, wait. Okay, I need That's to clarify that. That's a very progressive that. school. Yeah, no, it uh, really <laughs> wasn't. This is the start so, of an 80s Movie. Anyway. Yeah, so we had we had a divider between the gym. It was like a, a pull-out divider, and like the boys' gym class would be on one side, and the girls' gym class would be on the other. And sometimes the girls would come over. And we replay. mostly did mixed gym, but not mixed locker room. Yeah, no, we did mixed gym, and sometimes there would be you know we played dodgeball with the girls, which was a mess. But um, so anyway, he would like the girls would like go through the there was a little door in the divider, and as they were going through, I remember one time watching him, watching him. Hi, Harry. And he would walk through. <laughs> he the, the girls would walk through the door, and he'd like smack them on the ass on the way through the door. <laughs> and these kids were like 13, 14 years old. Anyway, I think he got arrested for something unrelated to that. Uh, I just remember him having a very short career. But yeah, he was creepy. Well, we had one of the gym. One of our gym teachers was like the the stereotypical female gym teacher. Yeah. Who also enjoyed watching people in the shower. Um, oh, we had one of those too. Yeah. And then the other yeah. one was a gym teacher that was a woman who had, was married to a dude. And then apparently um, explained to the one health class what her husband's stuff tasted like. Apparently egg whites uh, from where the rumors went. His, his yes, pie. Yes. Uh, yes. His pie. He cooks. He, yes. He makes her. Special pudding every weekend. The special pudding tastes like egg whites. Pudding, pudding pie uh, every we weekend. Learned. Yes, and and uh, yeah, and he he every Sunday morning, honey, uh, open up. I've got some special pudding. Anyway, we can stop there. I'm just that's that's my gym story that I was like, oh wow, my God. okay. Anyway, unrelated. Unrelated, but, but also kind of re- yeah. So there was another treatment for Shira. <laughs> Treatments. A, a special pudding. No, there was a oh. supposedly they were gonna like make her a, a, a rock star or something. Oh yeah, it's like one of the early ones that they were talking about redoing. It was gonna be that, and then they then they came back that they did what they did. And I remember I told the story about a million times. I saw who the showrunner was, and I said, "Oh shit," because I knew exactly what we were getting. Oh yeah, and it's and exactly now, what you thought it was gonna exactly. be. Exactly, yep. and that Tumblr. was DreamWorks, and now we're getting now. That's going over to Amazon, and so is apparently Voltron. Well, we don't know. There was a bidding war. They didn't say that Amazon got it yet, did they? No, they're circ. They're circling. They're circling it. like they're a vulture s- over a carcass. Yeah, um, just let it go. Just let it go. I just I, can't wait to see if, if Amazon gets it or Netflix. I, I just can't wait to see what how bad they're gonna fuck it up this time. I'm not sorry, Mom. Yeah, it's so sad because they've got, you know, the boys and they've got some other stuff that's actually pretty good. But yeah, like Lord of the Rings has been freaking terrible, uh, you know. And I'm just I'm just really happy that Amazon is rebooting She-Ra. And I hope it pisses off the cartoon stands. No, I don't think it will. I think they'll do exactly what they want. They'll, they'll just lean into it. For, yeah. Probably. I'm like, go, go and buy the mandates and what we've seen so far. Yeah. They'll probably make up a bunch of shit, too. They'll make a bunch of characters. It'll take place, yeah, in the real world. Yeah. Anyway, anyway, we're gonna wrap this up. Yep. So there we go, guys. Uh, not very excited about this. <laughs> what gets us excited anymore? Apparently, talking about gym class. Yeah, gym class. Gym class does. It gets us all going. It gets us going. Anyway, we're gonna wrap it up. Yes. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye. Now he's just tasty, delicious, rotten flesh meat, which I can consume and don't read into it too much. Just like our museum, the cafe, it's open to brute through it, eager to serve. I don't think this was in the show. Run, 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 run. Oh, you got splatted. No. Oh, wait, oh, wait, oh she was begging and what? you kicked her in the face. I don't care. Hey, guys, Squid King here, and today we're in a... <laughs> Not girl boss, not girl boss at all. She is not a material girl. She is not. Oh, it's Christmas time here in your mom. Nobody wants to join your mom. What? Like I can't even cook kid cuisine right. I would last about two minutes with Gordon Ramsay.
What? Where is he? He's hiding. He's hiding from you. He better. Oh my god, you got the axe. Walker, does this look like Steven Universe? Let me punch him. Well, I'm just here for the wax. Get in the dirt. Well, that was a combination of events I probably shouldn't have put together. Anyways, let's open this bottle to Chica Pinata. Is that official? Oh, no. There's a bootleg. Hello. Ooh, I'm sorry. Hey guys, it's Diamond Tool. Let's make a farm. Like and subscribe and buy my merch. I mean, while you're here, you guys should like really like and subscribe and buy our merch, all of which we have. <laughs> that is true. Can't run him carrying trash. And you can get away with one F bomb per PG 13 movie. Oh, I wish I'd yeah. known that sooner. Yeah. All right, so we're going to wrap this F up. Yes. <laughs>